We all have been in a situation where we had that one song stuck inside our head which kept playing on a loop, but we really couldn't tell which song it actually was. It was frustrating and infuriating to say the least. And the solution for this was unthinkable. Until 2002. It was the year where Shazam, the immensely popular music identifying app was invented. In today's video, we will talk about exactly how Shazam is able to tell the difference between music and identify them. Let's start off with some history. Shazam Entertainment Limited was founded in 1999 by Chris Barton and Philip Engelbrecht. They were working at a London-based internet consulting firm called Viant. The service was launched in the UK during the year 2002 and had a really interesting name. Before the app, Shazam had to be manually dialed from a phone in order to acquire its services, which was 2580. Fast forward to 10th July 2008, Shazam was now on the App Store for iPhones and had more functionalities like enabling users to launch iTunes and buy the song directly. An Android version was released later that year. Fast forwarding more, in December 2017, Apple bought Shazam for an overwhelming $400 million because of the potential they had seen in the app. Now, before getting into what makes Shazam so special, let me explain how it works. In order to understand how Shazam casts its magic, one needs to have a good understanding of computer engineering. But putting it in layman's terms, Shazam has the ability to identify a song based on the song's unique acoustic fingerprint. The fingerprint, as they like to call it, is generated from an audio signal which is used to identify an audio sample. These audio samples are based on a time frequency graph, which is known as a spectrogram. A spectrogram is used to visualize audio as electrical signals, which helps Shazam to identify sound. It works its magic in tandem with a smartphone or a computer's built-in microphone. Shazam has a constantly updating database of music, which it accumulated over the years. When the app hears the music, it starts scanning and comparing resemblances with its own database. In order to categorize the immense amount of information, Shazam uses hash function. Think of it as a librarian sorting books, but in a manner where the books beginning with the name the would not collide with another, which makes finding it easier and less time consuming. This sorting method is highly amplified using computer signals and helps with identifying Shazam's enormous database of constantly updating audio files. It is very useful as Shazam's database is based on energy peaks for frequency patterns. To identify a unique audio signature, Shazam then plays a comparison game where it tries and matches it with the information it has. As soon as it bumps into something which matches its input, it brings out information associating with that specific match. Now, to sum it all up, Shazam first records a song and then turns it into digital sound waves which have a distinct audio signature, more commonly known as acoustic fingerprint. It then compares the signature with the database using the hash function and the Fourier transform and brings out the matching results in the form of information relating to the name of the artist, their album, release dates, and other trivias. Shazam possesses the ability to unlock the hidden potential of apps like YouTube, Spotify, and Deezer, since it's a very effective approach to search for music online. With that said, just imagine a world where Google was combined with Shazam, where you don't have to worry about remembering that song which you heard as a kid but cannot remember now. All you have to do is hum it out, and Google combined with Shazam can bring the song and every other information related to that out to you with the snap of a finger. The idea of Google merging with Shazam seems very intuitive to say the least. If, hypothetically, we do see a day where they merge together, the current industry leaders should make it more convenient so it could reach more people. The idea itself could be a game changer in terms of musical inquisition. We hope you liked getting to know about Shazam, an app which changed the world of music recognition worldwide. Please leave a like if you liked this video. And don't forget to share and subscribe for more videos like this on your feed.